Hello, Iwa. This is Creation and Jisoo Park here to deliver your weekly news. Iwa International Student Channel. Iwa has achieved great global excellence by President Kirsty Kalulaid, the first female president of Estonia, visiting the school. President Kalulaid visited to receive her honorary doctorate in political sciences in the LG Convention Hall. After the ceremony, President Kalu Lai had a conversation about digital innovation, entrepreneurial spirit, and future society with Iwa students in a session called A Talk with Iwa Global Leader. This session was conducted by Professor Go Gun, and we have Toon Kim on the scene. Professor Go Gun asked questions about the key services of the e government of Estonia, the reason and effects of the relaxation of blockchain regulations, the know how of managing work and nurturing as well as the secret of the economic development of Estonia after independence. This was Toon Kim in front of International Education Building. Thank you, Toon Kim. Now we will move on to the social issues of Iwa. Recently, Inside Iwa has been advocating proposals that students long to achieve. Inside Iwa is a consultative group that delivers and discusses proposals from Iwa students to the school headquarters. We have Heryong here to explain some proposals that were most controversial. This is Heryong at the front gate of Iwa to deliver some information on Inside Iwa. Inside Iwa has proposed various policies. First is menstruation absences policy. Currently, Iwa does not allow menstruation absences in contrast to other universities such as Yonsei, Songshin, Sungsil, Hanyang, and etc. As a result, the Human Rights Department of Inside Iwa has been persistently pursuing the launch for this policy. However, the school has responded that they cannot support this issue because of the students' right to take classes. This is a controversial issue as students' right to take classes actually refers to their right to take classes healthily in a good condition. Fortunately, Inside Iwa plans to keep pushing for the agenda and it will be up to the school board to allow or disregard the issue. Another issue Inside Iwa is concerned with is chapel. A couple of months ago, a proposal for making changes to the school's mandatory chapel system was rejected because the school proposed that it's their right to set graduation conditions. Uh, However, many students along with Inside Ihua feel that school's four years mandatory chapel is too excessive for their graduation requirement. 종교 자체로움을 좀 인정해 주시려면 채플만이 아니라 뭐그 종교에 맞춰서 그렇게 활동을 해 주셨으면 좋겠는데 너무 강압적으로 생각합니다. Therefore, the consultative group of Ihua is planning to discuss the agenda later again in the second round. Other than these two prime causes, a recent debate has formed on scholarships. Inside Ihua is now arranging time with Office of Scholarship Welfare to discuss the expanding the number of scholarships given as a response to many students' adamant opinions. This was Heryong from the front gate. Thank you, Heryong. Apart from these proposals, Inside Iwa has made a lot of achievements. Starting from August 31st to September 7th, it made its first negotiation with the school. Also, they have successfully persuaded the school to positively consider a direct meeting with the president. In addition, security devices within all student areas were promised to be installed until 2021 in order to solve the security issues recently happening in our school. Students are looking forward for a second negotiation that has been told to focus more on student rights issues. Additionally, students have shown their interest for Upside Iwa, which is an intricate part of Inside Iwa. Upside Iwa has been working on three goals. Number one, adding itself as a Kakao Plus friend. Number two, sending direct messages to the consultative group. And number three, attaching pin buttons to raise awareness on school issues. EISC will continue to catch up with Inside EWA's activities and we hope this develops into an effective platform where the school and the students can actively communicate about school issues. Next, we will discuss about the establishment and launch of Shinchon Box Square. Last semester, we reported about the controversies around Box Square, which is located in front of Shinchon Railway Station.
Now, with its full establishment, we hope that this project can reboost the economy and the streets around Ipa. Shincheon Box Care is created in courtesy of Sadamunga Office in hopes to solve the problem of illegal street vendors. As of last October, nearly 7,300 people were running street stalls in the capital. Only 1,000 among them had city permission, meaning over 6,000 vendors sold food and other merchandise on the streets illegally. As a solution, this project made the nation's first public rental shopping arcade that provided space to street vendors. Relatively, 23 street vendors who are doing business near the university and 17 young startups have filled the shopping mall after a selection process. Um, I think it shows the kind of like the authentic Korean culture. It's um, it's really homey, I guess. Like this, this um, the food they sell are very Korean. And I think it's really nice. The space it allows people to just come and sit down, have a chat, get a drink, and eat. And I think it's really nice. Um, I think there should be more space for because there are still other street vendors outside in the um, in front of Yihua and I think if there was more space to for them it would be better. By reducing illegal street stalls, Boxcare is working to build a cleaner and more effective environment for consumers and street vendors. This was Soon Kim in front of Shincheon Box Square. We hope that this project boosts youth employment and actually makes the streets in Yihua much more cleaner and better. That was all we had for this week. Thank you for listening, Iwa. This was Jisoo Park and Grayson. Have a wonderful week and good luck with your exams.